Belfast Knights. So we're all set for Fidel Vasa's first defence of the WBO Flyweight Championship, the eight stone division against Dave Boy McCauley from Larne, County Anthem, some 20 miles from here. And nobody quite knows just how good Fidel Vasa is. I've never seen him fight, but he did beat a fine champion in Hilario Zapata of Panama to win the uh, championship. And that was in February this year. And now he's come to Belfast to put it on the line against the Irish Hope and the British flyweight champion in only his 14th fight, Dave McCauley. And already the King's Hall atmosphere is beginning to fill. Vassa looks quite a small, slight figure against the tall, white figure of Macaulay, who stands five feet, seven and a half inches. That's very tall for a flyweight. A lot of uh, unaccustomed rules to us in this WBA championship. The uh, start he goes 15 rounds, which is no longer permitted in British title fights. Uh, three knockdowns in any round will constitute an automatic stoppage. They're wearing six ounce gloves, which does correspond with our rules. And, and over goes McCauley in the opening moments of this fight. And a compulsory eight count. This is the other WBA rule. So McCauley down in the first minute or so. And suddenly, the little man, Bassa, looks overwhelmingly confident. Well, Macaulay has been down before and got up and won. And he's going to have to do it again if he wants this title. He's got to punch himself, Macaulay. And he needs to get it in right now. And Bassa is a typical little Latin American swarming fighter. And there's a danger here that he might just overwhelm McCauley before McCauley's had a chance to warm up. Good left hook from McCauley, but he badly needs it and he's taking a hammering. So a dramatically disappointing start to this British challenge. And he's cut as well, McCauley, the right eye. Blood trickling down the side of his face. The most unhappy start the man could have wanted. Massa, a bouncing black ball in front of McCauley, who's trying to fend him off with the left hook. Can't quite find him. Nate Morgan, Chicago referee. And you can see now very clearly the injury to McCauley's right eye. And McCauley looked badly worried and badly hurt. And that is a tragic three minutes for the British flyweight champion. His first fight since becoming champion. He couldn't have made a worse start. There's the damage to the right eye, which Eddie Shaw is working on, McGuigan's old trainer. And let's see again what happened to McCauley in these opening seconds. That was a good right hand counter punch, whipping right hand. And he was wide open and exposed to it after leading the left hand. Dropped his left and paid the penalty. And he hasn't looked right since. He's been trying to get the left hook in. He's got a good left hook. And oh, my word, he does need it right now. But psychologically, can he recover from this? It seems highly doubtful to me. There's the 10 second buzzer. Massive 
very slow to come off his tool. Fidel Bassa. He's only had 17 pro fights, won the lot of course, 12 of them inside the distance. He's come all the way from Colombia and he couldn't have made a better start. He had a desperate journey here. His plane burst the tyre on takeoff. He lost his baggage. And none of that matters now. And this Belfast crowd trying to rouse McCauley into some sort of spirited comeback. And McCauley trying to work out a way to get a good punch home. But the little man is fast and nippy and he's coming at him all the time. Another good left hook. Left hook from the champion, Bassa, who's proving to be a pretty useful looking champion. And if Macaulay gets through these opening three or four rounds, I shall be very surprised. is standing up and trying to come back to the good punch. He's got to get his left hand to work here. Good combination, left and right. He got caught cold in that first round, but he's beginning to warm up a bit. But the blood still at his right eye. beside me and a very welcome guest he is indeed here at the King's Hall is the unbeaten European middleweight champion Harold Bomber Graham that's a sad sad start for Macaulay he was a very bad start but in the second round I must say he came back strongly and he started his jab going and he got two Bassa as well and he's making Bassa feel uncomfortable of course Bassa started using his head do you think that Macaulay can really come back from that start uh, I know McCall is a strong guy, um, I hope he can, and he's doing so anyway, because if anything, Bassett should have finished in that first round. Right. So, let's hope for British hopes that uh, this man can find something now with which to really hurt the little champion in the other corner. Bassa very slow for the second time, they haven't heard the bell. The referee is waiting for him to come off the stool. And the bell has gone, and Bassa, almost 10 seconds late in coming out. For some reason, they didn't seem to hear the bell. And call his corner certainly did. if he can he's dangerous with his head again there's no 
know why you want Basser inside roughing you up like that. And Nate Morgan might have a hard task here tonight if they uh, come together like that too often. obviously trying to clear his thoughts trying to put that first round out of his memory now wipe it out and get to work and he's not doing too badly different styles. McCauley very upright. And the little man in front of him bobbing and bouncing around. Moving from side to side. And he's done it. He's got him. He doesn't know where he is, Basser. He's up. And they're still counting. It's a compulsory eight count and his legs don't look right to me. Third round. 30 seconds to go. Can McCauley pull off the win of all time here? He staggered him with the left again. There's the right. That's the one that got him. What an unbelievable fight. He's got him hurt again. Not counted as a knockdown. No knockdown, said the referee. The first one most certainly was. There's the bell. Nobody can hear it. And the referee pulls them apart and suddenly the whole fight looks completely different. Isn't that amazing? Here we are again. This is how McCauley got himself right back in world title contention. Well, I don't know. I don't quite see what hit him there. That's amazing. And yet his legs, his legs are gone. Now what got him? He seemed to duck both the punches and then went down, but his legs were very, very shaky and he still looks quite dazed. So maybe there was a little punch earlier that we didn't notice. Anyway, the champion is hurt and McCall has now got a golden opportunity to become the world flyweight champion here in Belfast. This crowd is going to zip. Ready to win. Round four. And still, Bass is slow to come off his stool and he gets well booed for it this time. Well, now McCauley knows he's in with a chance. around both eyes McCauley's caught him with the left hook again as he came in pinned him on it beautifully well if uh, McCauley wins this it will go down as one of the most amazing turnarounds ever good right hand for Basser McCauley's got a mark down his nose now he's picking up all sorts of uh, cuts and scrapes and swellings around his face but he's still got a chance to win the title <laughs> oh, that again from McCauley McCauley getting the come on sign from his corner all the time get in there come to him an amazing fight. Round four. And we know now that McCall has got the punch to put him away if he can only land it cleanly. The injury to his right eye beginning to show again. Not quite 
so keen to come in. This could all end in one explosive punch on either side. the facts and figures on, on Fidel Bassa. There we are, 24 years old. There's the height, and you can see that he's shorter than Macaulay. I told you it was five, seven and a half. And the unbeaten record there, 17 out of 17. But real desperation in that corner now, because they know their man could be beaten at any moment. The supervisor looking over the ropes on the far side there, which is the new practice in these world title fights in Britain. And plenty of attention needed on the face of Dave McCauley. Seems to be cut in several places. And this time, Bassa comes up on the bell. contest this is. Bassa's head rubbing into Macaulay's face, into all those cuts across his nose and under his eyes. And again, Macaulay being given the come on sign, come in. Bassa to back off. astonishingly good fight considering what happened to him in the first round when he was close to defeat <laughs> little right hand from Bassa that's the sort of 
farewell as round five comes to an end. Well, there was a moment in that round again when McCauley scored rather well. I think we're going to have a look at it in just a moment and I'll get Harold Graham here just to talk us through it. This is an amazing flight, Harold. Oh, it? fantastic. Two, two good boxers and on par with each other. Um, unfortunately, you're going to get a loser. Oh, nice left hand there. Wasn't it just? Nice. And what he's done, after that, he put his head up as well on Bassett. Bassett put his head up to him again. And he keeps coming in close with that head. He's got to keep away from it and keep the uh, punches flowing in. He's picking up a lot of damage around. He is, place, yeah. He? he is, definitely. But he's still in there with a good chance. Oh, he's got a fantastic chance. So, the sponsors of this fight, Smirnoff, I should think, uh, well satisfied <laughs> with what they've paid for. champion Fidel Bassa from Colombia and the very much part challenger Dave McCauley from Larn some 20 miles north of Belfast. McCauley won the vacant British title last October in Glasgow knocking out Joe Kelly in nine rounds. McCauley's won his last seven inside the distance. went the full 15 rounds to beat Hilario Zapata in a very strange fight when he won the title. Zapata was down in the eighth and was grabbed by a spectator by the leg and then punched by another spectator over the ropes and was given five minutes rest in the middle of the fight and then lost on points. Oh, he's got him again. Left. Beautiful short left. And the referee says that was not a knockdown. He waved to the timekeeper, said no count. What if that wasn't a knockdown? I'm a Dutchman. Beautiful short left. Anyway, he didn't get the benefit of his eight count, which he should have had under WBO rules. So the referee has done him no favours. He's got him again. He could have him out here if he catches him once more like that. The sixth round. McCauley poised on the edge of an incredible victory. There's only 10 seconds go, he won't get him this time, I don't think. But he so nearly had him. Tied up on the ropes. Mr. Morgan has to separate them. And we've had another sensation. Well, that'll be well worth looking at again in a minute. Just look at They know it was a knockdown. Trying to slap him back into some sort of action. Here we are, beautiful little short left. There it is. And actually, he got one in on McCauley. Now, that was not counted for some reason by Mr. Morgan as a knockdown, which uh, the reason escapes me. One more look at it. Just have a look. Beautiful little whipped in left hand. And he caught McCauley with his own left, but not before he went down. Uh, just before he went down, rather. And that's a blinks. And no wonder. And the crowd beginning to sense that after all, 
they may have a world champion to cheer very short find another punch like that before Bassa finds one for him championship fight in which McCauley's chance seemed to have gone out of the window in the opening seconds and yet here he is in the seventh with every chance of winning despite the cuts all over his face McCauley muttering something to himself Some of these punches was really astonishing. These are two desperate men, both of whom know that the blackout could come at any moment. Did he have his last chance in the last round or has he still got it within him to win this fight? cut now on the right eye one more little sensation Bass has got quite a nasty looking cut above the right eye and again he gets told about the head by the American referee and Bass is complaining to the referee McCauley seems to have blood around his right ear and it's quite a nasty looking cut on Bass's face I think the referee is going around to the judges telling them to subtract a point from Bass's score because of the foul with the head. So that can't do McCauley any harm. Now, Harold, who have you got ahead? Have you been keeping the score on? It's very close. It is very close. Although um, Bass seems to be the fresher of the two, McCauley fought his way back into the fight very good and is in a strong position of stopping him. And I've got it quite even, really. He looked suddenly very, very tired, I thought. Oh, he was. Last round. Yeah, the last round looked very tired, and then he suddenly caught him with a punch. And then it was all open again. And then he cut him as well. Yeah, I think the Vassar cut is quite a... It's in an awkward place and quite a nasty cut. It's over the right eye, yeah. Remarkable WBA flyweight title fight. Two little men putting on a fight such as I haven't seen for a long, long time. McCauley doing his own refereeing now, pointing to his head and saying, Tabasa, you're being dirty with your head.
just don't know what's going to happen next. The astonishing thing is that we're only just now coming up to the halfway mark. A 5 to 2 on favourite. You could get 9 to 5 against McCauley's chances. putting together the better work in this round and McCauley was punched with the right hand and then I think it had the full weight of Basso on him it's not counted as a knockdown he was pushed over as much as punched over but it's a sign of his tiredness and he's having a rough, rough round here McCauley round 8 blood seeping now from under his left eye as well as his right and the resistance I fear might be crumbling now for Macaulay unless he can summon one last desperate punch and there's the bell to end another hard, hard round of this extraordinary title fight. BJ's was looking in from the left as Eddie Shaw goes to work on the very much damaged face of this brave young man, Dave Boy Macaulay, 25 years old and 20 miles away putting on the fight of his life here to try and become world champion but I do get the feeling that the real chance may now have gone he seems to me to be so terribly tired he can hardly summon a good punch anymore he's got to come forward somehow at the same time he's been butted unmercifully by Bassa and a lot of those injuries have been caused by the head of the world champion he's already had a point at least taken away from him for illegal head. Can McCauley summon up one last great effort? The head is in his face again. done a good job on Bass's right eye. Left up a cut. That was harmful. McCall is taking a lot of punishment inside as well. He seems hard there to summon a punch. He tried one there. Get rid of him. 
You've never seen a fight like it. Bass is glassy-eyed, he really is. And he's got it again and he's staggering. McCauley can win it. He's only got to find one more good punch and it'll all be over. But now Bass is coming back at him. You've never seen a fight like it in your life. The pair of them can hardly stand up. He's got up. Will he be allowed to continue? Yes, he will. 30 seconds. McCauley surely must get him. Bassa doesn't know where he is. He's throwing punches from instinct. The seconds ticking out in this round. McCauley's got the world title, if only he can find him once more. Bassa can hardly stand up. Oh, he got him with a right on the belt, and it's time for a minute's rest, and Bassa is rescued. Would you believe it? Look at this crowd, listen to this crowd, and come to that, listen to me, because I'm going for Cirque too. I've never seen a fight like it in all my life. It's unbelievable. It goes one way, then the other. Hell's laughing his head off here. Really, I was speechless. It's fantastic. Right? Uh, first, not just where Basta got on top of him in the first round, and then suddenly um, Baby got right on top of him, got him, clinched him well, and he yeah. went. Cool. How about where's that? What a punch that was to find. I don't know how he got up from that. He did well to get up. Three times. You've really got to admire the pair of them because they've put together the most amazing fight. And now we're coming out for the 10th round. Bass is looking like a man who doesn't know what day it is. The ball has had to be lifted off his stool to come out. And away we go again. What on earth is coming next? He's rubbery legged again, Bassett. The head again. He banged the head into McCauley's face. McCauley's too tired to push him off. He's got to find a swinging punch from somewhere and just get him right. The heads again. Really, Bass has done enough here to get himself disqualified. urging McCauley to come forward he's hardly got the strength to do it he's had this man on the verge of defeat now so many times he's come back himself from almost instant oblivion in the first round and we still don't know which way it's going to turn out has had time now to recover he's looking a much brighter little man than he was about two minutes ago the pair of them have hardly got the strength now to put punches together A 
Anderson nearly lost his gum shoe. And the awful thing from their point of view is that when the bell goes to end this round, they've still got another five to go. Well, Dave McCauley is the new hero of Northern Ireland. There were great days with McGuigan, but those days seem to be over. And a new era dawns. And here's a man who's going to be a he hero for the rest of his life to the people of Belfast. Here's a replay from that last round. Big swinging left. It was just too far back to do real damage. And that corner, urging and urging and urging. McCauley, come on, one last effort, you can do it, it's there, all you've got to do is nail him once and it might be all over and the crown is yours. really is quite uh, hideous now with the amount of the uh, cuts and bumps and bruises but he's come through all that and suddenly he looks alert and eager again Bass has cut over the right eye the eyes have turned to glass at least three times but he's come through it Oh, he seems to have got a second win. so much hell that they're glad to stand off and have a breather. Bass is a changed fighter from when he started. He was all full of bounce and aggression and now he's circling away very, very warily. shows how wrong you can be with any fight. I wouldn't have given anything uh, for this fight to go beyond about four rounds. Eamon looks like he's coming strong. Mm -hmm. He really looks like he's getting back into the, well, he's into the fight, but he looks like he's getting a second win, and now uh, all the pressure's on Bassa. I've got to rely on you for scoring, because I gave up about eight rounds ago. I got so excited. <laughs> I don't want anything down there. <laughs> I'm just going on what I see. Uh -huh. What I see is Eamon in front, probably just slightly. David? Yeah. David. <laughs> right. Well... There is another Macaulay called Eamon, and I'm not surprised we're all getting excited here. <laughs> it 
shot at Bassett. The other side of his face has been giving him trouble. to go if it goes all the way. The WBA title, which belongs to Bassa, on the line. And I don't think I'd put my money down now. Either way. So he's in territory now that he's not explored before. It's amazing they can still put any sort of fight together. As much as they can do to swing their arms. Can't stand up straight. Almost got him again. He swung the left, hooked it round, almost got him again. And you have to hand it to Basso because he's putting up some defense of his title. He's been gone, seemingly gone twice. And McCauley suddenly seems to have gone rather weak again. Waves of tiredness coming across him. Suddenly it's Basso, who's got a new lease of life. Oh, it's a good right, good right from Basso. McCauley in trouble on the ropes. The ball coming at a very opportune moment indeed for McCauley. Trapped with his back to the ropes and couldn't get away. And looks desperately tired once more as he sinks onto that stool. And still three rounds to go. This was a good punch from Basso with McCauley trapped against the ropes. Hadn't got the strength, and that was the one. No, that was the one, sorry. It was the big swinging right hand, not the uppercut. This was the one. Oh, dear, how did he survive that? <laughs> no idea, but he has them, and he's going to come out again, I'm sure he is, and give him hell. Dave, he's got to go all these rounds It's so long ago, we've almost forgotten what had happened to him in the first round. I mean, he was, he was out, wasn't he? It was it's intense to Yeah, yeah. 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 And I don't know how he survived, honestly. But survived he has. And on we go into round 13. That's his trunks swamped in water. His legs seem to have given way. Well, the pair of them are so tired, anything can happen. And once more. 
Moore, another transformation. Vassar suddenly is the one who looks very, very tired. If McCauley can only time one more good left hook or a right. That was a good right and McCauley may go down. The ropes kept him up but he was hurt. Round 13. Surely not unlucky 13 is it for McCauley? Surely not. After all he's been through. Vassar sees his chance. Oh he's gone, McCauley's going. Oh isn't that sad? He's over and I think he's out. I don't think he's any more to give and in fact Barney Eastwood has thrown the tile in from the corner. It's all over in the 13th round. And the desperately sad sight of Macaulay, who so nearly tonight became flyweight champion of the world, is still on his back as Bassa and his camp celebrate a truly amazing victory. It was unlucky 13 for Macaulay. Everything went from him. He'd been caught earlier, trapped on the ropes. He had nothing further to give. And that was the one that brought it all to a tragic conclusion from Macaulay's point of view. It's almost unbearable to watch it because the man came so close to being champion of the world and then had to go like this. Corley has been escorted back to his corner but he's a terribly terribly hurt and tired man who could so easily have lost this fight in the first round and then took it all the way through to the 13th and at least twice almost had the world title in his grasp. Peril, I, I find it so sad finish but you've got to be proud of McCauley for what he did, aren't you? Definitely, from the first round as we look on it um, he got up well to continue the round and he even pressured Bassa and from then onwards I thought he, he had a chance, well he had a lot of opportunities and so did Bassa to finish the fight both of them were strong and like disappointing to end this way but someone's got to win Well he couldn't have done any more, could he? He gave everything So there we are, an amazing challenge for the WBA flyweight champion was made tonight by 25-year-old Dave McCauley from Juan in County Anson. He was almost out in the first round, he came back almost to win the world title and this little man, Fidel Bassa from Colombia, came through at the finish to retain his world title but he too has been through a private nightmare tonight.